Hello everyone, this is day two post-op from my HD Lipo. Um, and day two is really the day after surgery. I had surgery yesterday. Um, <clears throat> and I am still have my garment on. However, I did take pictures and I did not insert the pictures in the video last time because I realized me recording on my phone as the camera um, I can't do as much as recording on a computer. So, sorry in advance. I'm going to have to do its own separate videos with comparisons. Um, but anywho, let's get into today. So, sleeping last night was horrid. Um, sleeping all day was horrid. Uh, but, the good thing is, the last time I took my oxycodone was this morning around 3 o'clock in the morning. That was the last pill I took. And since then, I have not really needed the, the pills the pain is on the manageable side today um still hurts like hell getting up out of this bed hurts like hell and this i have a high bed so it's not like i have to like stand up so far from the ground or anything but it still hurt um i'm not leaking anymore or draining when i took this morning when i got i took a shower this morning um, so when I took this off, which I took this off and I washed it today, um, and put it back on, I wore another vest in the meantime that I have, um, that I like wear to the gym or I used to wear to the gym, like a sweat vest, but it was, you know, it, it pulls tight. So I wore that while this washed and it only, it only took like an hour. So I had it off for like an hour to wash and dry it, um. Cause you're supposed to keep it on at all time and then I stuck a tank top on underneath it this time um but it's only draining just a little bit um on my two lower incisions so my top incisions and stuff they're not draining anymore um of course they're still open because it's only been one day but they're not draining um my stomach is still very tender and my pelvic slash vagina area is still swollen so I don't know how long it's gonna last but hey just so you guys know it's gonna be swollen um, bruising I bruise fairly easily however so far I only have bruising on my sides on my love handles um, on both sides I don't have too much bruising in my stomach my upper and lower abdo abdominal only on my sides so I guess that's good However, it still hurts. Um, like I stated in my first video, I'm taking care of myself. So this has been very hard for me. Um, I walked downstairs for the first time today, just like an hour ago, because I was starving and all the snacks that I had up here, it just wasn't doing anything for me. So I finally ate for the first time. And it was some noodle soup. I know I'm not supposed to be eating salt, but at the time I didn't feel like standing up too long to cook anything to prepare anything and that was the quickest thing so by tomorrow I plan on going out I think tomorrow I will be in good enough condition to where I want to leave the house um, and walk a little bit more so I didn't do too much walking today but I did get up and out of the bed at least five to six times today so I think that's good because yesterday I got out of the bed like once I wasn't playing that shit. So, anywho, um, today's a good day. Day two. Still horrible, but manageable. I'm only on ibuprofen now, and I'm not taking any oxycodone, so I think that's a good day. But, what I am still experiencing, and I'm not sure if it's because it's me laying down for so long or what, but every time I get up, I, have, I can't just get up. I have to kick my feet over. My body's still, like, my breathing is still, like, it's weird, like, heavy. I don't know. They said, someone told me it's because of the medication. So, I think that's why. We'll see. Um, I put some of the lotions and everything on today. I ordered me a little uh, massager so I can do my lip, lymphatic massages myself. That'll be here tomorrow. I probably... I might start tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. I know it's going to hurt like shit. I know that. So I'm trying to prepare myself for that pain. But the faster you start doing it, you know, the swelling will start decreasing. 
So instead of having someone do it for me, because they just get in there and start doing it, I figure I'll just do it myself so I can ease myself into it. Baby steps. But other than that, you guys, it's going pretty good. Um, I took pictures today of what I'm looking like, and wow, um, I'm pretty flat. And I'm still swollen, and I'm flat. So I'm excited about seeing the results one week from now. I'm, I'm excited about next week to see. But in a few weeks, I'm definitely going to be swimsuit shopping because um, I feel like I'm going to be looking good on the beach this year. I will let you guys know how I feel tomorrow and how I sleep tonight.